Ready? Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Township Committee meeting of August 14th, 2018. Ms. Bork, please call the roll. Commander Delcor. Here. Commander Sirachi. Here. Deputy Mayor Thompson. Here. Mayor McCauley. Here. Administrator Ferreira. Here. Attorney Willard. Here. Please join me in a salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be advised in accordance with Section 5 of the Open Public Meeting Act, Chapter 231 of the Public Laws of 1975. The notice of this meeting was made by posting on the bulletin board here at the Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex and notifying the officially designated newspapers that this meeting would take place at the Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex at 7.30 p.m. on August 14th, 2018. First this evening, we have approval of minutes for July 10th, 2018, regular session minutes. May I have a motion to approve, please? So moved, Mayor. Second. Thank you. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Okay. Roll call, please. Commander Delcor? Yes. Commander Sirachi? Yes. Secretary Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. Thank you. We'll move on to reports from committee liaisons, receipt of reports, petitions, and communications this evening. First up this evening is Committee Man Delcor. Thank you, Mayor. Um, first of all, I just wanted to uh, thank all of our uh, businesses that attended the uh, HBA Business Social. Of course, I'd like to thank the uh, HBA for putting that event on and all of our Economic and Business Development Commission members that attended that evening. Uh, we had the event over at uh, Roycefield uh, Country Club and it was uh, a very well attended event and um, we had a guest speaker, Brian Ribeiro from M Spire, who gave a really informative talk for some of our smaller business owners on, on um, you know, uh, some web initiatives they can undertake, uh, social media initiatives that, that businesses should be looking at, a number of tips and pointers for some of the uh, businesses that I think they all found pretty helpful. So I want to thank everyone for that event, and we look forward to the next social. We try to do at least two or three a year. We'll probably have one in the fall. Uh, so thanks, everyone, for participating. Um, I know we've got uh, some, some of our officers in the back. I, I would like to... Uh, just thank a couple uh, for their work yesterday. Um, Officer Engelhart and Tishner uh, brought the canine dog, who we're going to have a little presentation on shortly, uh, over to the YMCA camp uh, to uh, for a hometown heroes event that they were running over there. So I just wanted to thank them for their uh, their time and effort. To uh, I know the kids enjoyed it, and uh, thank you for for being out there and, and uh, working with them and showing them what our hometown heroes were all about. Uh, also, like to thank. Um, John Sheridan, our OEM director, who, uh, who went over today for the same program uh, running the uh, Hometown Heroes as uh, our uh, emergency management director, bringing over our command vehicle and letting the kids uh, see what goes on in, in that command vehicle uh, and how we operate in the, in the event of, a, of an emergency here in town. So thank you to John for doing that as well. <clears throat> a couple of uh, items from some of our uh, some of our departments here in town, uh, the building department, I know a lot of people are still working on uh, some of their summer projects, particular some uh, buildings and additions. Uh, if you are doing any type of work like that on your home, please make sure you're uh, liaising with the building department. Uh, they're, the, they're the people that will help you understand what permitting is needed so you can take care of that all up front and not worry about it uh, uh, after the fact. It, your project will go much smoother if you're working with the group and, uh, and ensuring that you've got the right permit process in place. Uh, the Municipal Alliance, um, please join the members of the Alliance for Somerset County's second annual Overdose Awareness Day uh, to remember and honor those that have lost loved ones to addiction. Uh, we do have details in the e-news. Um, I think I don't have to share um, the uh, updates on the epidemic that we're seeing, not just in Hillsborough, but really across the country in terms of, of, uh, of opioids and, and uh, drug overdoses. So uh, any parents or uh, local residents that are interested in, uh, in learning more or uh, participating in the, in the Awareness Day, uh, please check out the e-news uh, this week for, for those details. 
Um, it seems like uh, we're, we're in the in the middle of summer here, but that means that uh, winter is not too far uh, ahead of us. Um, so the health department is uh, putting out notice. Please make sure you're planning for your flu shot. Uh, flu season is really just around the corner. I know it seems seems far off, but um, there's details on the uh, on the health department website uh, about what you can do in terms of uh, flu shots. The CDC, the Center for Disease Control, recommends that all people over six months get uh, vaccinated before the end of October in anticipation of the flu season. So uh, please uh, check out the uh, Health Department website or the CDC, and we'll also have some additional e-news information. We usually do flu shots here in town. Uh, more information to come there, but just so everyone gets prepared. Uh, from the Recreation Department, um, Hillsborough Township will host the fifth annual Senior Olympics on September the 26th. Uh, the event will be held, uh, that's a Wednesday, at uh, Ann Van Middlesworth Park. There will be a rain date of Friday, September the 28th. The Olympics commence at 9 a.m. and they'll run until about 1.30. There's a check-in at 8.30 a.m. Uh, any local seniors that uh, would like to participate, it is a lot of fun, I can tell you. Um, they get pretty competitive. It's uh, it's a little scary sometimes, um, but uh, it it is a fun event. We do have a number of events that the seniors participate in, and uh, it's a good time to have by all. So anyone that wants to participate, uh, the uh, the information will be uh, forthcoming. But uh, you can check out the recreation website for more details on that. And the fall brochure will be coming out in a couple weeks with all the new programs uh, for anyone that wants to register for any of our fall programs. And, uh, Mayor, that is all for me today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Committee Minister Sirachi. Right. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor. Just a few items this evening. Uh, first, <clears throat> uh, last week, I uh, attended the uh, Hillsborough Music Festival on August 4th and, uh, mm -hmm. with the Mayor. Got some photos up there. Just uh, wanted to thank everyone, uh, particularly uh, uh, Department of Public Works, uh, for helping put that together. And also a special uh, thank you to uh, Donetta, who really organized the event. She's in the middle of that photo over there. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was the uh, first time in many years that we had a music festival, so uh, had some really great uh, bands there, and hopefully uh, this will be the first of many uh, continuous years of the festival, and uh, you know, hopefully you'll get a chance, uh, if you didn't go this year, get a chance next year to uh, attend. And then from the EBDC, a uh, week from today, August 21st, uh, starts Restaurant Week, which will run through Sunday, August 26th. There is a uh, prefix menus and specials available on the um, EBDC website, the Hills, and that's hillsboroughbusiness.org. And please check that website regularly for updates on the latest specials. And lastly, from the engineering department, I believe I, I may have made this announcement back in June, but since we're still in summer, it's still worthwhile that uh, as homeowners continue to make improvements to their uh, properties by adding or removing soil. Um, it is um, advised for residents to be cautious about any soil that they may accept, because uh, <clears throat> there has been some of this free soil has turned out to be contaminated, and the removal of that was not free to the homeowners to take that away. Um, the New Jersey uh, Environmental Protection Agency uh, has established a certification process um, to certify uh, soil suppliers. We also have here a uh, soil permit ordinance to help further protect uh, homeowners, residents, um, to uh, ensure that the soil that they are receiving is free of contaminants and not to uh, uh, incur any unnecessary costs. Uh, the Hills, for more information, the Hillsboro Engineering Department can call them direct. Their direct number is 369-4460, and they can answer any further questions and provide you some additional guidance uh, with regards to uh, <coughs> uh, soil for your property. And that's all I have this evening, Mayor. Thank you very much. Deputy Mayor Thompson. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, a couple things for me. First, I had the opportunity to attend the Hillsboro Night at the Somerset Patriots game on July 13th. I uh, had a great time there throwing out the first pitch, so uh, thank you to everyone who came out to celebrate Hillsborough night. It was a strike. Uh, I have video to prove it, so if you contest that, I will be happy to show it at any time. 
Um, from social services, when you are picking up your back to school items for kids, uh, for your own children, please consider picking up an extra item or two for our Hillsborough Community Assistant uh, Network. Uh, we'd be happy to take those donations. Uh, we can help all of our kids start off the school year right if they have all the tools they need. So if you can drop off any extra supplies you pick up here at the Missile Building, it would be really appreciated. We do have children in town that do have a need, so uh, anything extra that you can pick up, we do greatly appreciate it. From our tax assessor, uh, the farmland inspections will be performed uh, by our tax assessor and staff during the months of August and September. The staff will be walking the entire property, measuring areas and observing the farmland activity. These inspections are required by the State Division of Taxation to determine if the property uh, does actually qualify for farmland assessment. Each qualified farmland property is inspected once every three years. And last uh, but not least, from our finance department, the State of New Jersey will be releasing the second half of the 2015, it's not a typo, the 2015 Homestead Benefits Credit for all eligible property owners. Those credits will appear on the fourth quarter of the 2018 uh, tax bill, which we mailed in mid-September. So if you do qualify, take a look for that. That's it, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Just a few things from me this evening. We were honored last Tuesday to hold our annual Purple Heart Ceremony here at the Township Building out in our Garden of Honor. Thank you once again to all the veterans and more specifically our Purple Heart recipients. Uh, it remains our distinct honor, honor and privilege to, um, to honor them and to acknowledge them in our community. Um, they come from all over. They're hundred in Somerset County, most likely. Um, most of them that we had visit us last Tuesday. So I wanted to say thank you for attending and um, thank you for your selfless courage in protecting our freedom when we need you. So we wanted to just acknowledge that we had that last Tuesday. We do host it every year. If you're interested in attending, we'll host it again next year. Route 206 fire truck dedication. Thank you to Ryan White and all the firefighters of Fire Company Number 2, which is on Route 206. Uh, they, they invited me to be a part of the dedication that day, and uh, it was a really amazing vehicle that they put into their fleet. Um, they had to replace an old one. They usually last between 20 and 25 years, and it was pretty much right there. So uh, this 2018 Pierce Velocity Tower Ladder was added to the resources and uh, will provide the latest in technology and safety, not only to our firefighters, but all those that they serve. As always, we'd like to acknowledge all of our volunteer firefighters who selflessly serve and protect us um, in our community, so thank you. A quick mention of the Rotary Fair just started this evening, right before the meeting. We managed to get over there and take a quick photo before the rain poured. It was in between raindrops, but I think we got a photo. <laughs> so please stop by, it's uh, there until Sunday. Hopefully the rain will cooperate and um, push it off till next week so we can have some fun at the Rotary Fair. Just a quick mention, the Hillsborough Township Credit Card Advisory Committee, the web, uh, on the website, there are applications available on the website at www.hillsborough-nj.org. These applications can be picked up here at the administrative office as well. This is based on nonprofit organizations for seniors or youth organizations, and they can apply for a grant up to $2,000 funded through the Hillsborough Rewards Credit Card Program. As always, you can stay connected here at the Township with all the events that we have, uh, Friday e-newsletter and Twitter. TV29 Hillsborough YouTube channels are always hosted and showcase our meetings on Hillsborough The Good Life episodes, and Swift Reach 911 for traffic and emergency notifications. We're going to move on to our proclamations this evening. We have a couple special guests, Jack Cittarelli, former assemblyman's in the back of the room, but we also have a treat here tonight, one of our police dogs here. Um, so we're going to move that first and foremost so we can get the dog up front so you can all visit and then the officers can go back to work. <laughs> Carl, I think you're joining me. Mm -hmm. Anybody else want to join? Sure. I'd like to call up anybody from the department that wants to join us up front. Chief Powell, former Chief Kaminsky, if you'd like to come up, you're more than welcome. And is Dr. Passau and his wife, Deanna, here? Oh, here you go. I'm sorry. <laughs> Looked right over you. Come on up, please. I'd like as many of you guys back here to come on up. And our incredibly special guest. Maybe just kind of line up behind. 
Dr. Caesar De, pa De Paso and Mrs. Deanna Padovani De Paso have been generous supporters of law enforcement and in particular to Hillsborough Police Department. In 2013, Caesar and Deanna purchased a canine for the Hillsborough Township Police Department, a Belgian Malinois that took over for Hillsborough's first canine, Raider, upon his retirement. Caesar and Deanna have paid for all the services and equipment relative to the canine. In addition, the DePassos purchased conductive energy devices for the police department. In 2014, Caesar and Deanna purchased a fully equipped canine SUV for the Hillsborough Police Department. In 2018, they purchased patrol rifles for the force and have pledged to purchase the department's next police canine. The Hillsborough Township Committee and the Hillsborough Police Department commend and thank them for their continuous support of Hillsborough Township and the police department in particular. Moreover, the Hillsborough Township Committee and the Hillsborough Police Department hereby welcome Dr. Cesar DePasso and Mrs. Deanna Padovani DePasso as honorary members of the Hillsborough Township Police Department in light of their continued generosity and support. Thank you so very much. Not only does it mean a lot to the township, but it certainly means a sincere amount to the police department and the opportunities that we have with these types of generous um, contributions. So we really appreciate it. Thank you. I met Dr. DePasso formally about two years ago. Um, my, my first meeting him, it became clear what a champion he was of law enforcement and pledged to help the police department however I, however I could help him. Um, he offered back a couple years ago to purchase another canine and to see if I was interested in the second canine unit for the police department. At the time, it really wasn't the proper time for that. However, since then, we've added a couple officers to our uh, ranks. And uh, I thought maybe the time was right to do that. And as I struggled to figure out how I was going to find the funds to do that, Dr. DePasso graciously made this generous offer to buy our second canine. Um, one thing that I think was missed in the proclamation was not only is he buying us a, a, another canine, another dog, but he's also buying us a fully equipped um, sport utility vehicle, for a, uh, fully equipped with uh, all the canine equipment. <laughs> Obviously, I can't thank Dr. DePasso enough. Um, his generosity is, is well known throughout the state, and I don't know anybody that has ever been more of a champion to law enforcement than Dr. DePasso. And myself, the township and the Hills, uh, Hillsborough Police Department, thank you greatly. Good evening, Mayor Gloria McCauley, Deputy Mayor Doug Thompson, Committeeman Frank 
Del Cor, Committeeman Carl Suracci, Town Administrator Antoni I'm sorry, Anthony Ferreira, Township Clerk Pamela Borek, Township Council Bill Willard, Former Assemblyman Jack Cittarelli, Former Chief of Hillsborough Police Department Paul Kaminsky, Men and Women in Blue, Ladies and gentlemen, and distinguished guests. It is with a great honor that my wife Diana and I appear before you all today. As most of you are aware, we are longtime fervent supporters of law enforcement. They are our true last line of defense in this ever increasingly dangerous world. True to their enduring motto, they serve and protect. It has been our experience that our men and women in blue take this pledge very seriously and place themselves in harm's way on a daily basis in an effort to keep us all safe. The position of honorary police officer is a great honor of which we receive and accept with humility. We truly appreciate the recognition. It has been over five years since we first initiated our profound support to the Hillsborough Police Department. In fact, the Hillsborough Police Department was the first to have received a canine officer from Summit Nutritionals. We stand before you five years and 69 donated canines later here to provide an, another canine officer to assist you in your fight against crime. Due to their heightened senses, canines are invaluable in assisting the police in pursuit of their duties. We trust this latest canine officer will prove to be worthy of his canine officer designation. In conjunction with the new canine, we have also committed to a second fully equipped brand new K-9 police vehicle. We are utterly proud to be able to help make a difference and we cannot think of a more deserving beneficiary. We have always found the officers of the Hillsborough Police Department to exhibit the utmost in courtesy and professionalism. It is not so common where one can actually see and appreciate the benefits and fruits of one's efforts. Hillsborough Police Department is integral in keeping this community the great place that it is. It is a shining example for all communities around the country of what a police department should be. Dion and I pledge our continued dedication to your efforts in serving this great community. We welcome the duties of honorary police officer and hereby stand ready and willing to provide the additional support of which you and your department may need at any time. Thank you. A lot of work goes into having a canine dog as well as the handler. And uh, there's a lot of uh, training and time that goes into training a dog and handling the dog as well. So I want to th thank you, Mr. Engelhart, for handling the dog for so many years now. I think it's been how many? Ten years as a handler. So that also is a lot of training and effort too. So, you know, the doctor has been so generous in handling everything that goes with the canine itself. So it's very significant here. I want to say thank you again for all your work. We really appreciate it. So I would like to take this opportunity not only to thank you, Chief and Mayor and the rest of every, every team member here. Thank you for the honor. And I would like to officially present you with a check for the canine that is about to join your team and also the fully equipped canine vehicle. So this is for you. Good luck and keep everybody safe. Thank you.
Thank you again, and thank you to uh, Officer Engelhart for bringing in the dog this evening. Okay, we'll be moving on now. Hard act to follow, right? That's pretty significant, but thank you for that. Um, we have some other ones to present tonight, so hopefully you're all here. I think you are. Jonathan Marone, you're here. I think I, oh, there you are. I, I'm short. I can't see everybody. Jonathan Marone, a senior at Hillsborough High School and a member of Boy Scout Troop 489, has recently earned the status of Eagle Scout. Jonathan's Eagle Scout project consisted of demolishing and replacing the Old, Springs, Old Oak Springs Girl Scout Camp Pavilion roof. Jonathan designed the roof to avoid future rotting issues. He raised money for the materials. The project took 216 hours to complete with the help of 25 people. Jonathan has served as troop guide, patrol leader, and was a Boy Scout Scholar Athlete Award winner. He is a member of the Hillsborough High School Marching Band, Hillsborough High School Boys Swim Team, and the Hillsborough Hurricane Summer Swim Team. Jonathan has volunteered at Visions, Pathways, and at Pet Adoption Days at Rawhide Rescue. Jonathan serves as an example to the youth of Hillsborough Township through his high-level leadership and community service, and we are very proud he is a member of our community. The Hillsborough Township Committee extends our sincere congratulations to Jonathan for having achieved the status of Eagle Scout, an honor for both him and those who have guided him for best wishes and a bright future. Thank you and congratulations. So uh, I'd like to thank the mayor and the Hillsborough Township Committee for honoring me with this proclamation. Uh, my parents were helping me to coordinate and build and all everything to do with my project. Uh, my troop for giving me this opportunity and Boy Scouts for giving me the opportunity to um, go on and get this award. Mr. Sawyer Quinn Abrupta. Sawyer Quinn Abrupta, a senior at Hillsborough High School and a member of Boy Scout Troop 489, has recently earned his status of Eagle Scout. Sawyer's Eagle Scout project consisted of revitalizing the Green Acres property in the Woods Road area by planting native flowers, shrubs and trees, as well as building and installing a wooden bench. The project took 270 hours and included the cooperation of 30 Boy Scouts. Sawyer served as Senior Patrol Leader, Assistant Senior Patrol Leader, Patrol Leader and Quartermaster. He has worked as a camp counselor at BSA Camp Okanikan and has completed more than 85 miles of hiking at Philmont Scout Ranch in New Mexico. Sawyer is a member of the Hillsborough High School Marching Band Brass and Percussion, Percussion Ensemble. He has a second degree black belt in Taekwondo and volunteers at the soup kitchen through Boundbrook Presbyterian Church. Sawyer serves as an example to the youth of Hillsborough Township through his high level leadership and community service and we are very proud that he is a member of our community. The Hillsborough Township Committee extends our sincere congratulations to Sawyer Quinn Abrupta for having achieved the status of Eagle Scout 
and honor for both him and those who have guided him. The best wishes for you and a bright future. Congratulations. I would just like to briefly thank the mayor and the committee alongside her for uh, allowing me to do this project and for guiding me wherever I needed it and for all my friends and family who helped me make this project possible. Flair Dance Academy. Flair Dance Academy had a very successful year due to their hard work and dedication. The Flair Dance Academy personnel consists of Amanda Grace, Lou Gardella, Rachel Covert, Alex Manetta, Nanako Yamamoto, Allison Monaco, Leah Harris, and Dawn Van Ness. Flair Dance Academy has contributed to the Hillsborough community by raising money for Steps Together through recitals and competing in the power of dance and giving free dance classes to Girl Scout troops and special needs children. They won regional and national dance competitions and performed at Madison Square Garden for the New York Knicks and New York Liberty basketball teams. The Hillsborough Township Committee commends Flair Dance Academy for their unwavering teamwork, dedication, and community support throughout the year. And I think you have a couple of committee members here with daughters in the program, so I know, <laughs> so I know it's a wonderful program, so thank you for all your service that you do. Thank you so much, Mayor. Um, Hillsborough is such a wonderful town and we're very proud to have a business and um, to expand our love of dance and passion for the arts to the community. So thank you so much. Again, as a dad, I wanted to say how proud I am of my daughter. Okay, she uh, built something out of zero. And she did it with a lot of hard work, a, a lot of hours, no com very little complaining. <laughs> Not no, but she, uh, she did a great job. She's a, a great person. And again, I'm a Hillsborough resident. And uh, I just, again, I'm so happy to be having a, a business with, you know, have my daughter have a business here in Hillsborough. Thank you so much. Okay, we have some, a presentation for those who participated in the sustainable poster artwork. We have a proclamation for everyone who participated. And we have the three lucky winners. We don't do first, second, and third anymore because it's so difficult to do this. I think we chickened out. So we chose the top three. And um, congratulations to the winners. I will call your names. Aishan Debnath. Frank. Atifa Ashik. And Anvitha Banda. Here you go. There you go. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. 
It's a little gift certificate in there for the winners. Great job. Everyone did such an amazing job. I love the poster contest. So thank you for everyone who participated. And congratulations to the winners, top three. We appreciate it. And everyone else will have a proclamation that's here as well. Probably. Yeah. And for those who participated can come up for a photo as well and we'll hand you your proclamation. Probably not all of you here. Just for the people taking photos, if you're not already signed up for the e-news, this will be in the e-news that goes out to 5,000 residents. You can sign up in the back. We have uh, information every Friday, important information comes out from the town. So I see you taking pictures. So the perfect photo will be in the e-news. You can cut it out and put it, cut it out and put it. That's right. You can put it on the refrigerator. Good job, everyone. We also want to take a few minutes to acknowledge our interns. We have a few interns that have come through already, but their summer interns are heading out to school. And we wanted to see if Fiona Lenzo would come up. <laughs> Fiona was a summer intern in our tax assessor department. I know you did an outstanding job. They're all here to support you tonight, the tax assessor and your mom back there. So thank you for coming. And I know some of our interns couldn't make it tonight, but you can accept on their behalf if you would like. If you want to sure. I'd like to thank the Township Committee and the Mayor and Betsy for making this possible. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And next, the Adam R. Sears are here. They would like to make a presentation. They come every year. We appreciate 
um, their donations, and uh, they wanted to say a few words. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Andrew Walters. I'm the uh, current president of Adams R. Sears. We are a model aviation club uh, based here in Hillsboro. We meet in the multi-purpose room. Um, we are an AMA chartered uh, club. Uh, we fly out of the three bridges, uh, unfortunately. Um, but every year we do a swap meet, uh, and the township is gracious enough to let us use the multi-purpose room uh, to host it. Uh, and as a token of our appreciation, uh, we're making a donation back to the food bank um, in the amount of $250. Um, so we would like to present that check to you today. Thank you. That concludes our proclamation ceremony for tonight and our presentations. So we'll take a quick break in case anybody would like to exit, but you're more than welcome to stay. Okay, we'll be moving on to new business tonight, which is an appointment of a township committee member to fill an unexpired term of Greg Burchette. Three names have been provided to the township committee as the Republican chair is requested to do by process uh, in the process by statute. Those names submitted were Mr. Ron Scobo, Ms. Chickie Haynes, and Mr. Sean Lapani. So at this time, we'll move forward with the nomination. Do we have a nomination to fill this vacancy? Uh, Mayor, while all three are uh, people that are well known and provide uh, significant community service back to Hillsboro, um, I would like to nominate uh, Sean Lapani for the position uh, to fill Greg Burchette's uh, unexpired. unexpired term. Uh, I've had the pleasure of working with uh, Mr. Lepani on the planning board uh, for a number of years now. He serves uh, as chairman, um, and I know his grasp of many of the issues that we're dealing with here in town, uh, he will bring to the, uh, to the township committee. Um, he's also uh, uh, very supportive uh, to the community in terms of his rotary efforts. Uh, in terms of uh, local business, and uh, I know he'll he'll bring uh, uh, value here. So I'd like to nominate Sean Lapani. Okay. Do we have a second nomination? Yeah, Mayor. I'd like to uh, second that nomination. I uh, echo all the comments that um, Commissioner Delcor made. Uh, obviously, three very talented individuals that names were put forward by the chair as per the process. Um, I, I think uh, every one of them would be exceptional up here. Uh, I have the honor of uh, seconding Sean's uh, nomination. Uh, I think dealing with all the everything we're dealing with affordable housing, uh, his background on the planning board is going to be absolutely useful uh, over the next couple months uh, up here. So uh, it is my honor to second the nomination. Thank you. Are there any further nominations, Dave? Okay, seeing none, I declare the nominations closed. Congratulations to Sean Lampani. I will now conduct a roll call on the selection of Sean to fill the vacant committee seat. Have a roll call, please. Commander Delcor? Yes. Commander Sirachi? Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. At this time, former Assemblyman Jack Cittarelli will swear in Mr. Lampani. So if you'd like to come to the front, please. Anyone who's here with you, please come up. Sign that after you're sworn in, so I'll give you a pen. Yeah, don't and do it before. Hi, Tara. Where's our oath, please? Right there, Jack, I think. Oh, right here? Yes, right there. <laughs> 
Ready? <laughs> He's ready. Go. I. I. Sean Lopani. You solemnly swear. You solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And to the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And to the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith. And I will bear true faith. And allegiance. And allegiance. To the same. To the same. And to the governments established. And to the governments established. In the United States. In the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. I do further solemnly swear. I do further solemnly swear that I will impartially, that I will impartially and justly perform and justly perform all the duties of the office of committeeman. All the duties of the office of committeeman. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> Hold on a second, Pam. I feel like I'm photobombing. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to stand over here. Good go. All right, we need to sign you this. You may join us after you sign, Sean, next to Doug Thompson over here. Okay. Nice to have the cast off action. You know, sign it. <laughs> Congratulations again. <laughs> Come on up. Come on up. Can you reach over? <laughs> Come on up. I'll get you. Is this the trick chair? It is. Craig broke it. Sorry. <laughs> And you know how to use the uh, microphones, yeah, obviously. I, I had a couple. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you and welcome. Congratulations to our newest member and uh, good luck. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, former assemblyman Jack Chitterelli, for being here tonight to swear him in. If I could just interject quickly, I'd like to thank the committee for the confidence in, in electing me or for this short position. I hope to uh, earn your uh, respect and trust. And I also hope to uh, earn the respect and trust of the Hillsborough Township public uh, because it's something that is uh, important to me and I take uh, with great respect and uh, let's get to work. Great, thank you. Okay, we'll be moving on to the agenda for public comment on new business and matters not on the agenda this evening. I'm oh, sorry. My well, people are talking to me. My right? I don't know. Distracting me. Dr. Glenn Belney, raising your hand if you'd like to speak. Come on up. Oh, you got a lot okay. of stuff there. Okay. <laughs> Can I help you, uh, Doctor? You're not going to read all that tonight, are you? <laughs> Can I help you, Doctor? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, this won't be long. Is it, is it, is it too late to leave? Uh, <laughs> uh, Sean, you sure you want to be up here? Yeah. Yeah. We need to get you an intern yeah. to carry your book. <laughs> <laughs> Start right. studying, man. <laughs> it's not all ribbon cuttings. If I could just give you a, an outline, I'll keep my comments very brief. Uh, it, it, it stems from what I've just put up on the dais. I'm here this evening to clarify some uh, misinformation that was presented at the last Township Committee meeting um, by a resident with regard to the environmental investigation that was completed on what is commonly known as the Sherman property located on uh, Camp Plain Road. Mm -hmm. So um, the Health Department took the lead in this investigation with CME Associates. Um, under the New Jersey DEP protocol for conducting a preliminary assessment and site investigation to complete environmental due diligence on this property to see if there was any um, areas of concern that might represent uh, a threat to public health or the natural environment. Um, the, 
a study was undertaken in the summer of 2016. Um, the preliminary assessment, which looks at the former uses of the property to identify activities that may have contributed to soil contamination, groundwater contamination, surface water contamination, uh, identified three areas of concern on the <coughs> property, uh, one being former agricultural activities, a second being a building of unknown use, and a third being the uh, likelihood of off-site contamination having migrated to the subject property. Um, so we moved on to a site investigation under the DEP process and uh, sampling was done in those three AOCs. Uh, there were no elevated levels of any contaminants in the soil and there were no elevated levels of contamination in the surface water, but we were not able to collect the groundwater sample in that summer period, so um, we were not able to conclusively determine whether off-site sources of contamination from other known contaminated sites in that industrial area, the largest of which is Dave's Heavy Towing, that has a very large groundwater plume of trichloroethylene under it, and the concern was had that migrated from that location to this subject property. So we did an addendum to the site investigation in the winter of 2016, and we drilled monitoring wells, which were sampled, which turned up no contamination above action levels set by the DEP. So at this point, we are um, confident there's absolutely no uh, concern about contamination on that site. Followed the state protocol to the letter. They're called the technical requirements for site remediation. Uh, it's a standardized process. It's followed all over the, uh, the state, actually across the United States. Mm -hmm. So I think we've done a very thorough job. Uh, there is no contamination on that site. Okay. okay. Any questions? Thank you for clarifying. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Any further comment from the public? Okay, seeing none, we'll move on to public hearings this evening. 2018-09 is an ordinance amending Chapter 143, Vehicles and Traffic, Schedules 143-31, Schedule 2, No Parking Certain Hours of the Township Code of Hillsborough Township, County of Somerset, State of New Jersey. This ordinance amends a section of the Township Code permitting per parking on certain residential streets that contain herein the amendment. May I have a motion to open the public hearing on this ordinance? So moved. Second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Is there any discussion from the dais? Any discussion from the floor? Okay. Roll call, please. I'm using a motion. To I'm sorry, adopt. motion. That's what I meant. <clears throat> motion to close and adopt. Second. Thank you. Now roll call. Commander we'll Delacour? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Commander Lapiani? Abstain. Commander Sirachi? Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. 2018 10 is an ordinance amending Chapter 143, Vehicles and Traffic, Schedule Section 143 42, Bus Stops of the Code of Township of, New of Hillsborough, County of Somerset, State of New Jersey. This ordinance amends the location of one of the bus stops on Triangle Road. May I have a motion to open the public hearing on Ordinance 2018-10? Move to open. Thank Second. You. Great. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any discussion from the dais? Okay. Any from the floor? Thank you. May I have a motion to close the public hearing? Move and adopt to close ordinance. and adopt. Second. Okay. Thank you. Roll call, please. Karen Delcor. Yes. Camilla Pani. Abstain. Raymond Sirachi. Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson. Yes. Mayor McCauley. Yes. 2018 11 is an ordinance authorizing acceptance of deed and dedication of right of way for the property identified on the Hillsborough Township tax map as Block 202, Lots 8 and 8.01. This is a requirement of the planning board process and has been reviewed and found acceptable by the Township Attorney. Municipal land use laws require an ordinance to effectuate the acceptance of this property. May I have a motion to open the public hearing on Ordinance 2018-11? Second. 
So moved. Second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any discussion from the dais? Any discussion from the floor? Okay. May I have a motion to close the public hearing and adopt the ordinance? So moved. Second. Thank you. Roll call, please. <coughs> Commander Delacour? Yes. Commander Lapani? Abstain. Commander Sarachi? Yes. Commander Maria Thompson? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. 2018-12 is an ordinance authorizing acceptance of deed and dedication of right-of-way for the property identified on the Hillsborough tax map as Block 11, Lot 57. Yet again, this has been reviewed and found acceptable by the Township Attorney. May I have a motion to open the public hearing on this ordinance? So moved. Second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Any discussion on this dedication? Okay. Any discussion from the floor? May I have a motion to close the public hearing and adopt Ordinance 2018-12? So moved. Second. Thank you. Roll call, please. Commander Zalcor? Yes. Commander Lapani? Abstain. Commander Sarachi? Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. 2018-13. An ordinance appropriating certain monies held by the Township of Hillsborough, County of Somerset, State of New Jersey, for the purchase of various capital improvements in the amount of $575,000. This ordinance is for those necessary items recommended as high priority by the Capital Planning, Planning Committee. Their purchases are based on what is available from developers' offsite contributions and capital improvement fund. May I have a motion to open the public hearing on Ordinance 2018-13? So moved. Second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Any opposed? Any discussion from the dais? I want to just you know state again as you, you had mentioned mayor these are from the uh, capital planning uh, recommended list mm -hmm. these are items that are going you know for the general public safety including a much needed left turn signal on triangle road and Norton road for anyone that travels that intersection but again there's no frivolous items in this, this is all going towards public yeah safety improvement so highly recommend its passage mm -hmm. thank you any discussion from the floor Roll call, please. Uh, I'm sorry, a motion to close. <laughs> Thank you. So moved. And I think it's roll call. Yes. Thank you. Roll call. Commander Delcor? Yes. Commander Lapani? Abstain. Commander Sarachi? Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. Thank you. The close of the public hearings for tonight. Their introduction of new ordinances this evening, 2018 14. This is an ordinance of the Township of Hillsborough in the County of Somerset. New Jersey, providing for various township-wide improvements and related expenses in and for the Township of Hillsborough and appropriating $8.5 million, therefore, and providing for the issuance of $8,075,000 in bonds or notes of the Township of Hillsborough to finance the same. Further consideration of this ordinance and public hearing will be held on September 11, 2018. The Township remains committed to a five-year roadway plan. Historically, over the past 10 years, roadways comprising of 20.33 miles have been repaved. In addition, the township performs an extensive chip sealing program, which enhances the longevity of roadways. Over 20 miles of township roadways have been chip sealed over the past 10 years. The aging infrastructure of our township needs to be addressed, which has been further compromised by severe weather with increased snow and freezing temperatures that have taken quite a toll on our roadways. As a result, it's in the best interest of the township to pursue funding for these improvements. The township's annual commitment to road construction has averaged 330,000 over the past 11 years through a combination of NJDOT grants and township funding. By bonding for this amount, the township will pave roadways that would have taken over 20 years, 25 years at the current spending level. Furthermore, the township will continue to maintain communication with the county and the state to address roads that are not within the township's jurisdiction. By borrowing these funds, it is expected that the township will be able to resurface the roads at today's cost for time and materials to avoid paying future increases in costs due to inflation and further deterioration of the township's roads, which will cost more to repair. May I have a motion to introduce this ordinance? So moved. Second. Thank you. Any comments from the dais? Uh, yeah, Mayor, a couple items. Um, one of the things, uh, certainly on my time in the Township Committee here, that uh, we've tried to do um, is be very judicious in our, in our spend um, and ultimately not incur significant levels of debt for items that were not critical to the, to the Township operations. 
Um, I think we're all, I'll, I think I speak for my colleagues and say we're all pretty proud of sort of the financial record uh, that we've been able to achieve here in Hillsboro um, as evidenced by, by the credit rating and by some of the uh, awards that we've been provided. Um, and by being judicious in what we've done with our budgets and with our spend levels and with our debt levels, it affords us the opportunity to um, take advantage of the opportunities to take on some debt when it's needed. And now's the time when really there's a need here, uh, given, the, uh, given the need to really do a, a much more substantial uh, road development program. So uh, certainly a significant amount of money, um, but we have a significant amount of roads that need to be, need to be done. And as you noted, um, trying to do it out of just normal budget process, given, uh, given our cap limitations, just becomes uh, uh, unfeasible at times. So, so really this opportunity gives us the chance to, uh, to borrow some money, um, do a bond issue, and go out and do some of the larger roads that, uh, that we think you know, will, will now last us for the next 20 years, uh, but really need to be redone. So uh, this is something that um, has to be planned, that uh, has to be done um, in a fiscally responsible way. And I think the lead up to this has, uh, we've acted in that manner, mm -hmm. allowing us now the opportunity to, to, to do this. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Thank you. Any more comments from the dais? Yeah. I'm just going to, you know, just kind of add, you know, because one of the things is, you know, we, we kind of have in a little bit of, I don't want to call it a perfect storm, but, you know, with the, you know, the, um, you know, the aging, the infrastructure, we have a lot of residential neighborhoods that all came online at the same time. So it does provide further pressures budgetarily wise. Also, you know, some things that are, that have caused the increase in the cost of doing these projects, what I like to always call the unfunded mandates, these ADA requirements uh, that uh, are <clears throat> not really providing value at it, but uh, the requirements nonetheless, uh, some things that you know, hopefully uh, Trenton can resolve, the prevailing wages which causes increases into these projects. So, um, you know, as Commander Delcourt said, it's best to try to get these costs incurred now than later because you know there, there are pressures on these cost drivers and it's not going to make it any uh, you know cheaper to do that and it's best to uh, you know preserve these roads because if we do allow them to get a certain state it will be significantly a higher cost to, uh, to actually do a full repaving of those roads versus resurfacing and doing the chip and seal process to uh, extend the uh, the life of these roads so absolutely any further comments? Any comments from the floor? Hi, hi. how are you? Mm -hmm. um, I, I just got a chance to see the ordinance language briefly because they're, we're not going to pack it. So um, I don't think this is answered in there, though. I think you mentioned that there's 20.5 miles of roads. Is that is that the amount of roads that are that you expect to fix with this ordinance. I'm trying to no, figure out why the 8.5. 20.33 20, 20 miles have been resurfaced. Um, okay. Have been repaved already. Uh, how many miles mm -hmm. that consists of, I, I don't have in front of me, but. I guess what I'm asking is why was this amount picked and what would be the projection out over the next five or 10 years in terms of more borrowing that might be needed? W what does this handle, this 8.5 million? What is expected? Are you asking for specific roadways? A percent of roads, of our local roads, or something, mm -hmm. some order of magnitude of how many more times you might need to do this or what it's going to take to do the whole job, roughly. I mean, what was the thinking? Well, the amount behind the, the thinking of the amount that we're borrowing now simply is uh, uh, being fiscally responsible and the amount that we can afford to handle at this time. Um, I believe it's paid off at, over a certain amount of time, and that's what we can handle in our budget right now. If I may, there, there's sort of a couple things. Mayor's right. There's a there's certainly a fiscal uh, level to this that we're trying to ensure that um, the debt repayment is something that's uh, handleable. Mm -hmm. But realistically, this this amount essentially uh, we've taken through with our engineering department. We've looked at 
the num the largest uh, uh, the roads that are in the condition that we need to resurface over that next five years. I think the mayor indicated this is sort of a five-year window, so we don't anticipate borrowing further during that window. This is really handling the main roads over the next five years that need to be that need to be done. Okay. And That's we can provide you a list of, of what uh, we anticipate doing, uh, but this is really the, sort of a five-year plan. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any further comment on this? You can come to the microphone, please. State your name and address for the record. No list. No list. Mohtaram Bahmanian, 21 Bombay. What would be the implication on our property taxes? For the borrowing of the $8.5 million? Yes. Well, we usually stay below the 2% cap, so there will be no increase in your tax dollars, per se. Um, unless there's some form of payment that would rise at between here and the next five years. But we took that into account when we were figuring the 8.5 million that we're borrowing. That yeah. was factored in there to try to make ensure that we could stay below the 2% cap. That's why when Mayor McCauley mentioned that why we picked the 8.5 million, that was part of it. We wanted to make sure that we had a budget that was sustainable for years to come. But just recall the this portion of your property tax bill is only about 14%. I understand, okay. but it adds up everything. Yeah, it it's does. It's already become It certainly does. Yeah. But, but there comes a time where infrastructure needs to be, needs to be done. And that's why I said we, we try to be as responsible as possible from a fiscal perspective. But, we, you know, the, that's why we kind of have been saving for a rainy day when, when we could take advantage of, of some of the spend. Yeah, if um, you're worried, it's not gonna, you're not going to see a spike. It's going to have gonna see no spike in your taxes. I don't know. Um, not this, you know, definitely no impact this year. Uh, you know what your tax bill is; it's not changing. Um, but again, as it was stated up here, it's to help. You know, and if you've seen what we've done over the years, you know, we've stayed within the two percent. And as it was stated up here, that this amount is going to allow over the next five years to keep it within that two percent too without any you know cuts to services there's nothing you know the intent is not to sacrifice anything because we do have other debt that's, that will be rolling off over the next uh, few years as well so this will sort of slide in under a uh, uh, sort of the debt service that that's coming off so in a couple of years there'll be really no net impact to the amount of debt service that's in the in the I just know, want to the budget yeah but you know that uh, I live in the area where I live, I talk to a lot of my neighbors. Everybody is really up to, you know, very upset about the amount of taxes that, property taxes that we are paying. So any increase will, you know. Yeah. Well, and as, as you know, with this year's budget, um, the tax rate actually decreased from the municipality standpoint. So any increase you may have seen this year, uh, you know, would, you know, would be only if you had to change in your assessed value, but uh, I know the school portion of the taxes did go up, you know, the school budget, so mm -hmm. uh, that's maybe what your neighbors are seeing, uh, any increases in their tax bills, but, um, mm -hmm. and, and also, you know, need to talk to, uh, you know, to, to talk to tra uh, representatives in Trenton. Uh, I mean, you just saw they cut school aid to Hillsboro, so, uh, you know, it's going to, provide further challenges for the school board to, you know, live in with those, you know, those new means, but. Uh. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Did you get her name, Pam? Did you do that? Yeah, I have the address. Okay. So may I have a motion to introduce this ordinance? We already have that. Um, so moved. No, Sorry, we're we we doing comments. All call. right, yeah. comments from the floor, are good? Okay. Roll no. call, please. Commander Zalcor. Yes. Commander Lapani. Yes. Commander Sirachi. Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. Ordinance 2018-15 is an ordinance amending Chapter 221, Parks and Recreation, Article 2, Township Owned Park, Section 221-14, Hours of Operation of the Code of the Township of Hillsborough, County of Somerset, State of New Jersey. Further consideration of this ordinance public hearing will be held on September 11th, 2018. This is an amendment of the ordinance to extend park hours at AVM and Doherty Parks for the summer months. Since we hold some programs that go later in the evening, we are, advi we are revising the ordinance. Uh, may I have a motion to introduce this ordinance? So moved. Second. Thank you. Any comments from the dais? Anyone out playing basketball late at night? <laughs> no? Okay. I guess we're too old. <laughs> Any comments from the floor? Okay. Roll call, please. 
Karen Zalcor? Yes. Mary Lapani? Yes. Ms. Rachi? Yes. Mayor Mary Thompson? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. Ordinance 2018-16 is an ordinance granting renewal of municipal consent to Comcast of Central Jersey to LLC to construct, connect, operate, and maintain a cable television and communication system in the township of Hillsborough, Somerset County, New Jersey. Further consideration of this uh, ordinance and public hearing will be held September 11th to 2018. This franchise agreement has expired and this ordinance renews said agreement. May I mo have a motion to introduce this ordinance, please? So moved. Second. I'm sorry, who made the second? Doug. Doug sorry. second. Okay. Couldn't hear you, Carl. Any comments from the days? Any hey, comments? Mayor, I just want to make sure everyone is aware um, because the question will will there is no exclusivity uh, to the to the agreement. Um, Comcast uh, responds uh, to mm -hmm. provide service here. There is no one else that is prohibited from providing service here. It's just whether or not they want to provide the infrastructure to do that. So um, just so everyone's clear on that, on that issue. There's no, there's no re restriction against any other provider wanting to provide service here. An important part, too, of that, just to dovetail that, also uh, this has nothing to do with Internet. Mm -hmm. This is only cable. So if they have a problem with Comcast Internet, that's a different sort of animal. This is regula regulated by a different entity, so just to throw that in there. That's correct. Any comments from the floor? Tuyen Lei for Ivy Lean. Um, I just wanted to understand the ordinance better, so I'm um, quoting from Section 4, where it says the non-exclusive municipal con consent uh, consent is granted herein shall expire 10 years from the date. So I, un I do understand that it's, it's not exclusive that other companies can bid, but if you have a contract for 10 years, then um, and there's new technology or new companies entering this area, how does that work with uh, a, an ordinance like this? And correct me if I'm wrong, but cable versus Years ago, there was a huge fight in the legislature it had to do with Fios and fiber optic table versus cable lines. Cable lines being different entities than fiber optic. Uh, municipal agreements like this with Comcast regulates the cable side, not the fiber optic side. And I could be missing this a little bit, but that was the way it was always explained to me that fiber optic is different. So say a company, we'll just call it Verizon for the sake of the conversation, they can come in tomorrow because they're laying fiber optic cable. There was this big monopoly breakup years ago. I think it was like 2004, 5, 6, somewhere in there. And looking over at our attorney. Uh, when that big monopoly was sort of shaken up and said that if you're bringing in fiber optic cables, it was different than laying traditional lines that we were used to with cable lines. Um, so that's when uh, Committee uh, Delcor was talking about other exclusivity deals. Mm -hmm. Verizon could come in tomorrow and lay any sort of lines they want. And you could have Verizon Fios. In fact, parts of town do have Fios, uh, mm -hmm. just not the whole town has yeah, it. So just, it's mm -hmm. the way that it just this essentially provides them almost a license to be able to, to operate. Mm -hmm. But we don't want to be negotiating that every year, uh, not on our side, and certainly not on the, this. They, they have infrastructure that's been built in town, uh, and this agreement allows them to continue to operate. But it's a non exclusive agreement. So anyone else that wants to. Uh, provide service by adding infrastructure, whether they're doing it uh, by laying cable or providing some other mechanism to provide the service, is certainly welcome and entitled to do that. Um, but it's because it's of, them. yeah, you, you, you've yeah. got a situation where it's, you know, it, uh, there's already infrastructure in place. So that's why this agreement is with It Comcast. makes it not so competitive for them, basically. So and our last, our our last agreement. Nothing prevents anybody from coming in upgrading their lines mm -hmm. nothing prevents Verizon from entering this market um, if they want to install Fios nothing prevents any of that this just allows Comcast continue to use the right of way for their purpose of providing cable TV and cable TV only and as you know uh, we're expanding into a lot of different op options right, right now right. I mean you have online streaming and everything else mm -hmm. and that's the competition to cable you have satellite right. so, you have so online and streaming I'm sorry, you talked about Section 4, I'm correct? This. You said yeah. Section 4? Section Duration 4. Of franchise. Where it's non-exclusive consent. Yes. Right. So it's non-exclusive. 
Yes. No, no, I, I understand that, but it me so but this is a ten year um yeah, it just means they get to operate for ten years. Yeah. I mean when you have you these types of contracts that you have to right. negotiate, they're usually longer contracts. Their last one was about fifteen years. This one's on, this one's ten. Okay. So, so also basically, the services you know, they are providing us right. that were negotiated in there, which is in there. Yeah. So, so if you had, agreement. so if you had another uh, provider that they could, they could also pay the municipality a fee as well. That another great. provider could. Say yeah. No I see. I, I if, got if you. If Cablevision wanted to come in tomorrow right. and lay the lines, they could come in tomorrow and say we want to put in lines and you in, in Oakbrook Township. Negotiate. And a fee we could and we could open right. it up. So then, so then the next question is that. So in section five, where we talk about the franchise fee, um, I'm trying to make sure I understand. Honestly, Trian, it. it's it, if you want to clarify this, we can certainly sit down and clarify it with you. It's a long contract, uh -huh. but um, there are certainly comments. But to go over the whole ordinance oh, no, might no, be no. a little. But I'm just going to ask. Long. All right, I'll, I I just wanted to lay down the groundwork, but I can just okay. ask the question. The question is because the fee that they are paying is similar to the fee they paid last year. Um, and and you know what? Coincidentally, yeah. What it's is the same fee that they paid every municipality? You know why? Because set forth in regulations. Set forth by regulators. Yes. By oh, regulations. So, so you know what? If you go to any other surrounding municipalities, uh -huh. you'll find the same ordinance, and you'll find the same fee. Okay. So it doesn't it's adjust not, by no. the population increase or nope. anything like that. The okay. only thing that we got Sorry. out of this that maybe other municipalities didn't because of the size of the municipality mm -hmm. is a technology grant that they gave us. Okay. All right. I just wanted to understand, yeah. no, no, you know, fine. to see if, so, uh, what, if we what, got... And that's why I'm explaining to you. That yeah. fee, you're going to see, if you pull anybody's ordinance mm -hmm. that has uh, Comcast, you're going to find those yeah. same fees in there. Okay. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. welcome. Okay. I think we look for a roll call, please. Prince Alcor? Yes. Commander Lapani? Yes. Prince Sirachi? Yes. Demir Thompson? Yes. Mayor McCauley? <laughs> Yes, thank you. Moving on to considerations this evening. Consideration number one is a resolution awarding contract for 2018 sidewalk and curbing project to JC Concrete and Curbing Incorporated in an amount not to exceed $109,825. On July 11th, three sealed bids were received. JC Concrete and Curbing Incorporated was found to be the most responsible and responsive bidder. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Thank you. Any comments in the days? I just want to add, this is one of those capital improvement projects that uh, that ordinance 2018-13 mm -hmm. provided those fundings for. Again, these are uh, replacement of existing sidewalks that have shifted, dipped, created some tri you know, tripping hazards. So again, it's going back for the public safety. Yes. Any further comment? Okay. Any comments from the floor? Okay. Roll call, please. Commander Zalcor? Yes. Commander Lopani? Abstain. Commandment Sirachi? Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. <laughs> Consideration number two was a resolution awarding contract for concrete low flow replacement at Surrey Drive at Great Construction Incorporated in an amount not to exceed $49,927. Also on July 11th, four bids were received for funds from this and therefore a developer contribution to replace the low flow channel and improve the drainage flow on Surrey Drive. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Thank you. Any comments from the days? Any comments from the floor? Roll call, please. Commander Delcor? Yes. Commander Lapani? Abstain. <coughs> Commander Sirachi? Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. Consideration number three is a resolution authorizing the hiring of Nick DeLisi at a registered environmental health specialist in the Township of Hillsborough Health Department, effective August 15th, 2018 at a salary of 45000 per year. There exists a need for a registered environmental health specialist in the health department. Mr. DeLisi has been interviewed and recommended to fill this position. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Thank you. Any comments, Nadez? I do, Mayor. Uh, just want to let uh, the Mayor and I uh, had interviewed uh, Mr. DeLisi as well as Dr. Belnay uh, mm -hmm. with his uh, field study with school, uh, his experience in the field, as well as his military background, customer service, I think is going to be a great addition to um, the health department and the needed uh, extra help with the new mandates and the, uh, the extra things that the health department needs to do. So uh, welcome aboard. He's going to be a great addition. We're lucky to have him here in Hillsborough. 
Thank you. Any further comments? Any comments on the floor? Okay. Wave to Kaz. He has you on camera. We always welcome. We always welcome new employees that way. <laughs> we'll have a roll call first. <laughs> Karen Delcor. Yes. Welcome. Commandment Lapani. Abstain, but welcome. <laughs> Commandment Sirachi. Yes, welcome aboard. Mayor McCauley. Uh, Deputy Mayor Thompson. Yes, congratulations. And Mayor McCauley. Yes, congratulations. And welcome to the Township of Hillsborough. Mm -hmm. Consideration number four is a resolution authorizing the installation of guardrails by Road Safety Systems LLC in an amount not to exceed $100,000 through the Morris County Cooperative <coughs> Pricing Council contract number 26 MOCCP. Guardrails are in need of replacement. The Road Safety LLC is a member of the Morris County Co-op and therefore will provide these services. May I have a motion, please? So, so move, Mayor. Second. Thank you. Any comments, Mendez? For Mayor, this is another example of the capital ordinance uh, or the allocation of those funds we provided earlier mm -hmm. to go towards a replacement, as you mentioned, of these uh, <coughs> uh, old guardrails to bring them up to, uh, up to proper code. So. Exactly. Any comments from the floor? Roll call. Commander Delcor? Yes. Commander Man Lapani? Abstain. Commander Sarachi? Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. Consideration number five is a resolution authorizing the cancellation of capital ordinance balances in the amount of $145,919.62. This resolution cancels various capital improvement fund balances of the projects that have been completed. These funds will be returned to the general capital accounts. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Thank you. Any comments from the dais? Any from the floor? Roll call, please. Commander Delcor? Yes. Commander Lapani? Abstain. Commander Sirachi? Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. Consideration number six is a resolution authorizing an adjustment in the amount not to exceed of various professional services contracts for the year of 2018. This resolution authorizes the adjustments required to complete our legal obligations through 2018. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Thank you. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Roll call, please. Commander Delcor? Yes. Commander Lapani? Abstain. Commander Sirachi? Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes. And Mayor McCauley? Yes. Thank you. Okay, that concludes our considerations for tonight. We're moving on to the consent agenda. It's quite a sub substantial consent agenda. It's a long one tonight. May I have a motion to approve the consent agenda, please? So moved. Who's battling for second? Second. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Any comments from the dais? I have some comments, Mayor. Uh, myself <laughs> and Ms. Bork uh, interviewed Patty D'Annunzi, so. Uh, for our new did, get uh, right? float of, uh, did I get that name right? I was close. <laughs> I was close. <laughs> Dia Nun C. So, no. <laughs> I'm going to stop. Three will, will not be a charm. Three will not be a charm. You did well uh, in practice, though. Yeah, I, I did well in practice. So, uh, in all serious, uh, she's going to be a great addition to the township uh, with her background, customer service, uh, someone we're definitely looking for here in the township as we move forward and in, in providing those type of services to the residents. So wanted to recommend her highly. Uh, Thank you. My wave to Kaz, too. He's got so. you on camera. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. And uh, welcome to the front office and looking forward to working with you. Any comments on the floor? Roll call, please. Commander Delcourt. Yes. Commander Lapani. Abstain. Welcome. Commander Sirachi. Yes, and welcome aboard. Um, it was number 31. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes, congratulations. Okay. Mayor McCauley? Yes. Mayor? Welcome again. If you might, and I want to thank the clerk for reminding me. Um, consent number 31, if you will, the uh, resolution starting the meeting on September 11th mm -hmm. at 8.30 p.m., just so the public knows as well. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Thank you. 8.30 p.m. start for our next township right. meeting on September 11th. Due to the event at Woods, Road's, uh, Ridge, Woods Road Fire Department, 7 p.m. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. 
the roll call. Um, we ready for that? Ready to the claims list 2014. I'm oh, sorry. Claim. <laughs> Find my notes. My claims list 2018-14 and claims list 2018-15. May I have a motion to approve both claims lists, please? I'll make the motion to approve both claims lists. Any comments from the dais? Second. Any comments from the floor? Roll call to approve 2018-14 and 15. Commissioner Delcor? Yes. Commissioner Lapani? Abstain. Commissioner Sirachi? Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. This does conclude our regular meeting tonight, so I want to thank you for being here. May I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Thank you. Have a good night.